Is it? Friday. 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 Okay. Friday. Good morning. 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 You know your job. Mm -hmm. We want you to be faithful to your spouses. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> how about that? that? Why not? Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got one, yeah. you might as well. Yeah, I think Come so, on, right? Yes. That would yes. be the right thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> so right. it's faithful Friday, guys. Right. Just saying. <laughs> I love it. Well, welcome to Sister Circle Live. I am Rashawn Ali. I'm Selena Johnson. I'm yours truly, Miss Quad. I'm the Kiana Dancy. And of course, this is Circle Live. We name the days. We interview amazing people. Yes. We have uh, deep talk. Yes, yes, we do. Right here on the table, mm -hmm. which we'll get into. And uh, we like to have a lot of fun. And the fun factor will go high because Jimmy Walker, legendary Jimmy yes. Walker, Ooh. is here. Yes. Like that. Yes. 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 So, yeah, we're really excited to, to sit down and talk to him, see everything that he has going on. I know he'll be performing this weekend. We'll get into that coming up a little bit later. But right now, it's all about S. Johnson, Selena Johnson. Yeah, that's How you. was your night? What did I do? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my memory. Yeah. What did you do? Uh, well, I actually had a very nice time. I went to the mall with Miss Kwan. Okay. Yes. And we saw Miss Rashawn Ali. I know, Lee randomly. In the mall. Yes. <laughs> and um, I, uh, I had my, my goddaughter's in town, Ariana. Mm -hmm. I haven't mm -hmm. seen her in so many years. There so she sweet. is, yes, my baby, Ariana. And so I took her shopping and got her some gym shoes oh, nice. and, you know, kid yeah. stuff. Stuff they be liking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and, you know, they want it. I took, took her to the store. She, I want some Harachi. You know, they like little stuff. Right, right. right. So I got her some gym shoes and an at fit. Mm hmm and then um, I went and got myself some perfume. Oh, did you? Quad forced me to, to, to be, spend something to on spend your, money right, on myself, you. and I still don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Although I smell very good today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ball, it's a ball. I don't force the people. I just encourage them to celebrate their success <laughs> and all their hard work. And you know, she's a ph phenomenal mother, yeah. and she is an amazing. Uh, Co-star on a great show, she yes. has, Circle, she has valid points. and uh, she is uh, a Grammy Award winner. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to find out why couldn't she buy the bottle of perfume? I didn't understand that. <laughs> she has valid points. Right. So I, I couldn't I, really I, dispute her. I right. just didn't understand it. Well, I'm I just felt the way. Yeah. I'm glad you did. And yeah. I am glad I did because I smell very good. Yeah, yeah. it is hard to do it for yourself sometimes. Mm -hmm. so I, I do hey, understand now, that. It's hard. It is hard. It's hard. And then I went to go see Jurassic Park. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I took the boys to see Jurassic Park. Thank that's you. us. That's them, them standing outside of the uh, movie theater. They had like the little Jurassic vans yeah. with the little sound effects in them. Child, you know the, the movie tavern just yeah, they just go nice. right out. Does it? Y'all make some well. cute babies. Uh, we do yeah. have some very beautiful children. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. God, <laughs> is, God is very good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. very, very mm -hmm. You should be children. grateful now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I am grateful. The Lord is good. <laughs> right. Amen. And then I just went home and I went to bed. Awesome. But I woke up very late this morning. Yes, so you did. I am here. You are here. Yes, you arrived. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Miss Dancy, how was your night? Girl, I was in the streets. Mm. <laughs> I was out around doing open mics. I'm preparing for mm -hmm. my show this weekend at the Comedy House in mm -hmm. Columbia, yeah. South Carolina. It is literally almost sold out. Yeah. I, gotta, I mean, I think it's like four seats left. So yeah. you better go get them. Get the four. Go get the four. <laughs> and I'm also, this is the first time that I'm making this announcement. All right. Uh, yes, is I it know. a man? Look, Let's I'm going to say it. I'm getting a man. I have been invited to perform and showcase for the Montreal Comedy Festival. Wow. <laughs> the largest and yes. one of the longest running comedy festivals in the world. That 36 wow. years and I will be on the Kevin Hart stage. So yes. I'm super excited. Yes. Oh. I will be in Montreal in July. I think it's the 24th through the 29th. Nice. So far, you She's get a saying band. Helen Swenson, who's our EP, she needs some days off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Thank well, you. Good. We're really proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Good, Thank stuff. you. Yeah. good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. How was your night? Superwoman. Well, I am that. Yes. <laughs> Quite super, I am. Uh, you know, I just had lunch with Selena, and of course, like you said, we bumped into you, and I just go in that mall and I just <laughs> tear it down. 
just like to keep it all to myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. That's all. That's yes. all, man. And I was That's just all. spent a little time with family, and I, I love it. I love. It. I was. I was very moody yesterday. You know, I'm a cancer, mm -hmm. so we're very moody. And so I just I got myself together, mm -hmm. and I'm good. I'm back. Well, what's wrong with the mood? No, just oh, being yes. a cancer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're moody. It goes up and down. work out for you. Just uh, being just a cancer. Out. Just get out. Just get on up out of the feelings. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Like <laughs> pity party. I just got out of the party. Step out. Yeah. It's all good. Well, let's get to the top of our daily feed. We talk about what's happening in the news online and on social media. Well, my goodness, First Lady Melania Trump visited a child immigrant holding center in Texas yesterday, and it was quite controversy because mm. of the jacket that she chose to wear when she boarded the plane in Maryland. It's a $39 Zara jacket from last season, and these words are on the back. I really don't care. Do you? Her mm. team insists there was no hidden message. Guys, if you have a team, you got to know that this isn't the right jacket right, to wear. Right, to an to To go and visit children who are not with their parents, right. who have been taken away from their parents. Mm -hmm. What person in their right mind right. would think that was okay? Let me just throw this jacket on. Right. Oh, no, this ain't right. But Let first of all, to answer her question, do we care? Yes, we do. We absolutely do, and hence the reason why we're talking about it. And everybody is talking about it. And the fact is, she's an immigrant. Her parents are immigrants. Now, everybody in this country are immigrants. So I don't understand how it, she can be so insensitive. It's very in poor taste. And her team, somebody needs to be fired because somebody, somebody can't read. Mm. Well, I just, you know, I'm, I'm very disappointed in Melania because I, I at first I thought she's kind of cool on Trump because mm. she always, you know, we always see her very distant from mm -hmm, him. Mm -hmm. You're just a poor excuse for a wife then, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But, wow. I, I mean, you are because you're never by his side. Mm -hmm. as, as terrible as he is, she's very distant usually yeah. um, with him and they're never That's really true. together. So at first I just thought that maybe she didn't agree with his policies and laws and the way that he was running the country. Oh, that's a good point. You know, and then I just figured, well, you know, maybe they have arguments. But now I just know that maybe you're, it's possible that you're a poor excuse for a wife. It's very clear that you're a poor excuse for a first lady. Um, mm. If I can just go back to Michelle Obama, she would you never can. do anything, never do anything this ridiculous. And, and before Michelle Obama, um, the Bush administration yes. would never do anything mm -hmm. like this. Neither mm -hmm. would the Clintons. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this has nothing to do with black or white, yeah. even, or me just liking the, the Obamas. You're just a poor excuse yes. for a person that should not really be in that position. Mm. Third of all, I just think you're insane because the fact that you are an immigrant. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping and praying because we really don't have the facts, mm -hmm. but I'm hoping, you know, we can't say, you know, because they can always, we didn't mean it that way, but I'm, I'm hoping and praying that you just really didn't see the back of your jacket. Girl. <laughs> I'm just hoping and praying that you just, you just threw it on, girl. But in, 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 in actuality, it's, it's intentional. In my opinion, yes. in my personal opinion, it appears to be intentional. Mm -hmm. And if it is, shame on you. Mm -hmm. Shame on you. And mm -hmm. you have children. Mm -hmm. well, shame on you. I just she's think she's disaster. dumb as a box of rocks. Okay. Uh, I if, agree if that not well. that, then she thinks we're dumb as a box of rocks. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you we're highly intelligent. Yeah. So you're dumb as a box of rocks. Take the jacket off and burn it. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to get that. more into that a little bit later on in the show. Uh, well, the Pittsburgh police are under fire for the shooting of an unarmed 17-year-old teenager. Antoine Rose was shot in the back three times by a police officer and has caused many members of the community to question why. Several people have rallied outside the Allegheny County Courthouse and protesters poured onto Interstate 376 in Pittsburgh, blocking it. Uh, the story broke a couple of days ago and I'm glad that we are addressing it here mm -hmm. today, here again. Another young man of color is dead. Yes. 17 years old. And, um, you know, Selena, you said it weeks ago, like, you're, you're, just, you're just tired. Mm -hmm. You get so exhausted to see another young life taken just like we are um, animals. Mm -hmm. Indisposable. Mm -hmm. Like it's animals. target practice at yeah. this point for the police department. I'm just very, <laughs> again, it, until we start addressing what's really happening, the underlying systemic racism that is happening in legislation in the police department, we're never going to change. Mm -hmm. We're never going to change. You have uneducated people that are clearly uh, suffering from mental dis uh, mental disorders that have guns mm -hmm. yeah. and call well, themselves... People who just don't value life. Yeah, people yes. who just don't care. Me, which and has to be a mental disorder. And, and not only that, they don't care, they're also thinking that they're superior mm -hmm. uh, and that they're entitled to mm -hmm. doing this and then there's no, not going to be any consequences. Mm -hmm. right. uh, because and, they've seen it. Mm -hmm. 
Because there, be. there haven't been. It has consequences, been. Yeah. And, and that's the problem. But this is one of the reasons why the Black Life, Lives Matter movement is so important, mm -hmm. and it's very important that we continue to forge forward with that instead of kind of letting it fade out yeah, because, yeah. oh, you know, we got caught up in the whole uh, Colin Kaepernick thing and what's happening with the yeah. NFL. This is the reason why right. we're not saying that no this one else's right. lives uh, doesn't matter, mm -hmm. but clearly... We are being targeted, and um, like Selena said, use this target practice. Yeah, yeah. And so we, we need to really continue with the Black Lives Matter movement. And yeah. from, from all of us here at Sister Circle, we send our condolences Absolutely. to his family and, and especially his mother. Mm. Well, the 2018 BET Awards are this Sunday, and as the amazing Anita Baker prepares to retire from music, the show will honor her with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Well deserved. Yes, BET will also honor the Waffle House hero, James Shaw Jr., Parkland shooting survivor, Anthony Boris, 11-year-old anti-gun violence activist Naomi Waldler, mm -hmm. and many other humanitarians. Nice. So this is a That's big good. deal. It's going to yeah. be great. Yeah. A, a nice way to celebrate who we are yes. and what we have done and what we accomplished. I know you're really looking forward to oh, seeing one of your favorite artists. Oh, my God. And I didn't get to see her, you know, on her farewell tour. Yeah. So at least this is a good way I can, I can watch her performance on television. Yeah. I've seen her live, and she's... You know, she's one of the very few artists mm -hmm. that, you know, are, are, you know, one of our older artists that still has this voice. Her yes. voice is the yeah. same yeah. as yeah. when it came out. Yes, it's it is. It's just piercingly beautiful. And so I'm really excited to see this. You're talking about voice. yourself? Uh, well, same I'm not that when, old. Right. But, <laughs> but, I'm, but what I'm saying, but your voice is still voice. piercingly yeah. beautiful from thank when you, you came back. Thank you, came thank out. you all very yeah. much. You know well, what? I'm well, I aspire to be like Anita. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a good one. person. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. I love this next story. Uh, yesterday, Kanye West attended the debut of the 2019 Louis Vuitton menswear collection in support of his longtime friend and menswear artistic director, Virgil Abloh. He's the first African-American to hold the title, and while walking down the runway, he spotted Kanye. The two men embraced, and they just sobbed in a beautiful display of emotion. Aww. When I tell you, yeah. seeing two men, yes. and particularly black men, because growing up, a lot of black men are taught to suppress their yes. feelings. Yes. Mm. But when you can celebrate another mm. black man like yes. this mm. in the limelight, he didn't, Kanye and Virgil did not care what was around yeah, them. Yes. They celebrated each other mm -hmm. with tears. This was a moment Absolutely. that I love, and I'm yes. so glad we're yes. highlighting yes. Yes. yes, and I'm so glad we showed her, uh, Kanye in a, in a vulnerable moment to just show, listen, guys, I'm suffering yes. from something, yes. too. And he's and a real person. I'm he's a real, real person. person. And more importantly, a lot of people say that Kanye is very arrogant and all those things. He was able to step back and celebrate his brother. Yes. They came up together. It was. I was also very excited for mm. both of them to, to just show their vulnerability. That Absolutely. was great. Absolutely. Yes. It was just gorgeous. And I, I just, when, when you see your friends win, win. Mm -hmm. that's, right. that's how you're supposed to celebrate <laughs> yeah. your yeah. friends. Yeah. 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 say that again. Yeah. Yeah. You have to <laughs> celebrate your friends when they Absolutely. win and when they lose. But when they win, you mm -hmm. embrace them and you tell them how much you are happy for yes. them. Mm -hmm. That is love and mm -hmm. that is friendship. Yep. Send us your thoughts on our daily feed at Sister Circle TV yeah. on all of our social networks.